Because if the money is the only thing motivating you, at some point, you won't be motivated anymore. And that goes with anything. Only people who will stick around with you are people that you really influence. Once you can influence a mass of people, that's when you know you made it. That's what typical that's what typically happens with people when they start working. When you start working, you work nine to five, first thing you wake up, think about is, damn, I gotta go to work. You go to work, first thing you think about when you get to work, I'm ready to get off. Whole time you're at work, you waiting to get off. Mm -hmm. You finally get off. What's the first thing you think about? Damn, I gotta go to sleep tonight and do it all over again tomorrow. Never once. In that time period, do you ever think about what else could I do to change my situation? What can I do to not be waking up and dreading to go somewhere and be anxious to get off? And then when the weekend comes, it flies by and then you're dreading Monday again. You should be excited about Monday. Every day should be a weekend, not just Monday. I mean, not just Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Monday should feel like a weekend. As a matter of fact, you should have no alarm set. You should just be able to wake up because you're so hungry and passionate about your goals. That's what rich people do. Their goals wake them up in the morning. That's why they, you talk about sleep. Sometimes it's like, I don't have time to sleep. What? I'm too hungry. I got too many things to accomplish. And I know I got to get it. I know exactly what I have to do. You know. But once you break that mindset and you power through the fact that you don't like being in a 9 to 5, I ask you, I say, how's work? He's like, ah. Is that how you want to be for the next 50 years? No, it's not how to live. Our parents live like that, so we won't have to. Feel me? They still working. Niggas is 55. My dad finna be 60. That's not what's up. I am not finna be 60 years old working or retired and working another job, which is what most people do. Retire from one, go to another job. What kind of life is that? No, I'm pursuing my dreams first while I'm young, while I can and I have the energy mm -hmm. and see it through. Mm -hmm. That's what motivates me to keep doing this shit because I know it's worked. I know what it's done for my life and I know what it's done for others. So that's really what just motivates me. And my why is, of course, generational wealth. Be able to take care of everybody in the family, y'all. My brothers, my sisters, parents, my other cousins. And just know that I set up some form of legacy for the people in our family under us to build on. You don't want to be better than you were when you got into this world. That's where people have it fucked up. You won't go far with that mindset. I had to change that my damn self. Like I said, personal development just started for me this year when I started trading. I never read a damn book. Now I read, listen to audio books all the time. I still don't read. Hey, read it. I'd rather listen to it. But I get the information. Shit that changes my paradigm, my mindset. When you come into the world, you don't want to strive to be better than what you were when you came in. You want the world to be better than what it was when you leave. That's leaving a legacy. That's what you want. If you don't leave behind any type of legacy or any type of progression, you didn't impact anybody, your life was, what was your life about? And that's not a successful life. In my eyes, you know, you want to leave an impact. You want to impact the world. God put you on here with a blessing, with a gift. You have to utilize it. Figure it out what it is. You may have many gifts. Figure out your talent. Grow it. Invest into it. Water it because that's what you've been given. Don't waste it. Because you owe it to the universe to be the best you can be. Because it's going to help hell the people that come after you. LeBron, nigga, imagine if you never played basketball and never got to the status he got to. There would be no schools that he built in Akron. There would be no foundation money. There would be no this, no that, no commercials, no advocating for social issues. Cause he has pool. This nigga get on Snap, post a song. If he posted one of my songs on his Snap, I would blow up tomorrow. Just from one exposure. That's impacting the life. Using your platform to impact people. When he speaks on social issues, where's the shirt that says more than just a player? He's bigger than just basketball, and he speaks that, and he believes that, and he is. 
I respect that nigga. I used to hate him. I'm a Kobe fan. But I said, man, how can I hate somebody who's making such Kobe. a change in the world? Because if you have success, the person after you should have more success at a faster time. Especially if you're being a teacher. I like to teach. I like to show, I like to teach what I've been taught so that I can cut your learning curve down in half. You yep. can, that's how it's supposed to be. Make it a little bit easier. Make it a little bit, because shit, somebody did it for you, whether you know it or not. Mm -hmm. Somebody did it for you, I gotta do it for somebody else. So. Yeah. Dig, it's good. I respect that. That's good, bro. But I don't care what you decide to do. No matter if you're trading, no matter if you start another side business, you're doing real estate, which I'm gonna do, you're doing drop shipping, which I'm gonna do, you're doing a, whatever it is you got on the side, you have to make sure that you focus on it and you think about it all the time. You believe that it's gonna happen and you just put the work in. You do those three things, eventually you'll get it. You don't know when, you don't know how, but you don't need to because you got God and faith. So now you just do the work. Next thing you know, what people call luck, it's not, it's manifestation. It's stuff that you believe and spoke into existence. And then it's just a matter of time when it happens. Just as long as you keep walking in faith and keep the vision, write your goals down, see it every day. Like, this is what I'm waking up for. This is what I'm waking up for. See it every day. It's gonna motivate you. There's no way you won't. That's the thing, man. Like, and being around the energy. If we was around each other, there's no way you would be complacent like this. If yeah. you saw me every day next to you, calling yeah. on the charts, you'd be like, damn, hold on, let me tighten up. Same with me. This niggas in my organization that's running. And you around, you around I'm that. around them. It, around it makes me like, oh shit. I'm like, okay, I need to step and up. They're around you. Niggas in Atlanta? Oh, they're hungry. Them motherfuckers is running. Talking about out there in the field every day. I'm just like, dang, with school, work. Like, I be feeling the same way you feel sometimes. You get off and be like, damn, I just want to chill, but I know I got to prospect. But I'm thinking, I'm, see, I feel like I be thinking that way, but I, but the reason why I want to stop, yo, is because I'm too young to be thinking that way. Yeah, you don't want to chill right now. I'm too you really young. You want to overwork this is, Yeah, like, this is the, this is my, I'm that, I'm at that age where I'm, I'm only 23. Yeah. My nigga, like, I gotta, I don't know how many times I gotta tell myself how babyish that is. Like, mm -hmm. it's not really babyish, but that's a young ass that's adult. Young adult. Like, 23 years old is not like a, it's not like you about to hit your 30s. Right. Like, I can still, I, I still need to be doing work. This is when I'm supposed to be putting that work in. So your 30s, you can chill. Yeah. That's why I'm like, that's why I'm like, man, like, that's why I always kept that chat open. That's why I always kept that on notifications open. I was like, yo. I may be in this space where it's like, man, nigga, I'm probably not gonna put the work in. I'm sitting there. Jabari, like, too. Jabari, he's a dog. He's a hustler. He's hungry. He's beginning. He's beginning. He begin it. That's my brother. Straight out of the good The North. <laughs> straight out of that motherfucker. Like, I'm sitting there like, he's a hustler, yo. You a hustler, too, though. Like, you really are a hustler, because you didn't. I didn't. You didn't. Every time, I come, every time I come here, you have a different plan. Yeah. The last time I came here, he was like, yo, I put my I put my money into this stock real quick. I'm just watching it grow right now. It's fifty dollars, but I'm watching it grow. Now you on this. Now we here and we talking about you being at be making turning a fifty dollar uh fifty dollar investment, five dollar investment, you said five or fifty. Sixteen. Sixteen dollar investment that you put into a um, foreign exchange kind of currency. And you made fifteen you made it to fifteen hundred. Mm -hmm. In what, in less than a month? Three days. Sunday, sixteen dollars. Sixteen dollars you started at on Sunday, Sunday night, and you last and you, week, last Sunday, and you're Wednesday, fifteen hundred. You're at fifteen hundred, one thousand five hundred dollars in three days. You, you went from sixteen hundred, sixteen dollars to one thousand five hundred in three days. I wasn't the only one eating. Barry made like a band that week, and JJ did as well. And JJ, another nigga too. I I mean like, I like I'm watching them, Nick. Watching him, Nick loves gold. He does. Nick loves gold, like like fuck. and that bitch <laughs> loves gold. <laughs> He's like, hmm, gold is it ready? <laughs> you feel me? I was watching. Um, another person I was watching when I start when I first started was Ashley. Mm. She, she was kind of in my spot. I was like, all right. When I got back to watching what she do, she's in it. Mm -hmm. She grew. I'm like, my nigga, I can grow. She was in it. She was having the same similar struggles as me. Yeah. But she grew. She stuck in there. She was She's staying in the in. She's still sticking in, even though she hasn't had as much success as everyone else. She has her own journey. 
And you have to understand that. You know what? I can't compare my chapter one to this nigga's chapter 10. That's how you're going to lose the race. You comparing chapter one to his chapter 10, he making 10K a month. You making a thousand a month, and now you upset and depressed. But the nigga been through the trenches for a year and a half, two years, three years, however many years it took. Or whatever he did in a short period of amount of time superseded what you've been doing thus far. So you can't just look at somebody else and be like, oh, I, I deserve to be like that. Or they don't, they, why is he like that and I'm not like that? You need to put the work in. You need to use that as motivation. I see people doing good. I'm like, up. Oh happy as fuck for you because I see niggas going through their own trials and tribulations. Everybody has something going on. At all times. I realize that. That's what I'm realizing. Niggas got every... Something is going on in somebody's life at every point of the year. You have to overcome that shit every time. It don't matter if you're doing this. going through the same shit. Right, like... And some some niggas going through the same shit. We all got 24. Sometimes niggas going through worse shit. I know me... She, her car that she has right now has no air conditioning. It's been like that for two years. You see how hot it is right now? It is 90 degrees outside. She never complains. She doesn't have a bed in her house. She sleeps on the couch Shit. at her parents' house. Bad as hell. You would never think that this girl is living like this and struggling the way she posts all the time and how she be moving. You'd be like, oh, she's straight. No. How would I know this? Because I get to know and build people, build relationships with people because that's the only way to succeed is really building true, genuine relationships. I don't care if you're doing the business or not. I don't care. Whatever it is, my goal is to meet you, see what your situation is, and see how I can help and offer a solution. Whether you take it or not, that's fine. We can continue to build our relationship. You never know how that relationship will come back to benefit you in the future. Just do good shit out of the goodwill of your heart. So see, so see, so see. Ten years from now, somebody might be a an attorney. Somebody might be a dentist. Somebody might be a doctor. Somebody might be someone in a position of power that remembers you. Because of the little things you did. You may have just texted her every now and then just to check in on her. Hey, what new investments are you making? I know Forex wasn't for you, but hey, what's going on? People appreciate a little shit like that. Go from a long way. Next thing you know, she's going to come through for you at the some lucky shit it's not luck it's all manifestation it's all it's all seeds being sown and she gonna come through for you it happens it works it's real so once i realized okay let me shift my focus from the money to impacting people and giving people a position to have and see change in their own lives just like i have is more important because if the money is the only thing motivating you at some point you won't be motivated anymore. And that goes with anything. Only people who will stick around with you are people that you really influence. Once you can influence a mass of people, that's when you know you made it. When you can influence a large amount of people. Keep inspired. If you love doing that shit, do it. Do it because you're inspiring me to do whatever I want to do. Sad. That's why I'm saying like, when I that's why I was like, yo, I might have to take a back burner to this. But I was like, yo, if I keep the Something told me to keep these notifications going, bro. Because I see your name constantly. I see Jabari name constantly. I see JJ name constantly. Nick name constantly. Uh, fucking Parrish. Mashia. Ashley. Every I see it. I was like, so I'm like, all right, bet. Then y'all made a whole new one for the Atlanta chat. So I'm like, nah, nah, nah. These niggas going dumb. Nah. They just made a whole new. They got a whole. They got Atlanta on lock. They said, no, nah, I'm going to take the keys to Birmingham. I done already got the keys to the Beeham. Now I'm going to Atlanta. You went to Bari's part of part, uh, town, and now you affected people in his town. And y'all about to rank the fuck up. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, I'm seeing these joints, and I'm like, yo, I'm really inspired, yo. Like, I got to get back to it. Then one day, you threw a sign. You threw a signal in there, and I made some bread. Another day, I got some, a signal. I didn't make that much bread. I lost like a couple dollars. But I'm sitting here like, my reaction changed. A couple months back, if I was to be making, if I was to be in a, ch a signal and I, and I lost a couple dollars or even more, boy, that would have been the worst day of my life. <laughs> but I saw my reaction. Even when I made my biggest day, and my biggest day was probably like, that day that I took your signal, it was $10. Nice. So I'm sitting there like, okay, 
couple weeks later, I tell you, I'd be like, if you want to see what I, if you want to see what I just made in that day off that whole chart, hit my DMs. I'm like, this nigga, my cousin right here. He think I'm thinking every time I see this now, I'm like, yo, this is you. Mm -hmm. I'm like, this is I, and I'm like, all right, hold up, hold up, hold up, yeah, hold up, real quick. The only issue that I have is the way we gonna promote, the, how we gonna market this in our city, because our city wicked as shit, and I'm scared. So, you know like what I, I, really, is? I, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Murder him. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna lie to you. That's how I, I kept it a hundred with him, cause we had a heart to heart, and I'm like, yo. I really want to do this, yo. Like, I, I, and this is two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. This is two weeks ago. I'm sitting there like, yo, our city wicked, bro. But we gotta really gotta we gotta say fuck that for a You have we, to focus really on like-minded individuals. If we really want to get this shit together, yo, we gotta say fuck that for a minute. You from your city, right? Yeah. You have a great mindset, right? Yeah. There's a million people like you there. You just have to open your mouth. Don't care about who says no. Don't care about it. You have to be null and void, and you have to be bulletproof to all of that. It was very difficult for me in the beginning. Very. I know, bro. I'm talking about everybody was bashing us. Even my own frat brothers was I bashing know, us, bro. clowning us on Twitter, clowning us. Niggas make comedians making stories like all oh, these forex niggas, forex this, forex that. You talk to it got to the point I talked to a girl on some chill shit, and she said, "You don't? Are you gonna try to tell me about forex?" No, bitch, I wasn't going to say anything about it, but I see that you're watching me. That's all that matters. <laughs> I see that you're watching me. And then eventually, those same people that was naysayers, they're going to keep watching you and be like, I don't think it's going to work out for him. I don't think it's going to work out for him. Eight months passed. Mm, he's still doing it. Another few months passed. Damn, he dropping videos. Shit, this nigga traveling. Damn, he in Dallas on some rich nigga shit. Hold on, he, what is he doing they now? They still, still in Vegas talking shit. Talking shit. And they're like, in damn. Vegas, popping shit. Vegas, Vegas. Oh, that video, after that video, I had so many people call me like, oh, man, I look, I respect what you're doing. It's yeah. this, that, and the third. That's, like, how that's how it is. They start out hating you. They don't understand. Then they're like, ah, uh, okay, it's not so bad. They hate what they don't know type shit. Right. Then it's like, I respect them. You stick to it. Then it's like, oh, you know him? I know him. That's my friend. Now that you done made the bag, now that you shining, and people who didn't see your journey, only see the shine and they like inspired by you but the people who knew you before they the ones who do you the worst it's ridiculous i really don't understand it it's a mindset thing so my goal is to change as many mindsets around me as possible i don't need to talk to the whole world i can talk to a select few people that will change my life forever just as long as i cultivate and duplicate what i know into them i will never fail my business will pay me forever I'll be trading, making money on the side forever. I'll be making my music, funding my damn self. All right, who you signed to? Me. How you getting the money for all these videos and this type of label money? I have investments. Not just one, not just Forex. Not just a job if I'm working still, but I doubt it. Not just music, doing shows. Imagine what I can do with, let's just say, a $1,500 show. 1,500. Say I do two shows, three bands. Three bands in my trading account by Friday. How you think it's gonna look if I took 16 to 15? I would take three to seven like it ain't shit. So life gonna be a lot different. A nigga like me who knows the things that I know, we can work the same job and I'll look a lot different than you. Just because of what I know, it's crazy. And I don't even know half of what I need to know. That's what excites me. It's shit that I don't even have on my radar that's going to come up in my life. Blessings. Yours too. Yours too. Shit that you don't know, but you just have to have faith. Like, I know something's going to happen. I know this is going to come into my life. I don't know how. I don't know when. Don't care. Just know it's going to happen. Uh, Big into acting, put her out. Don't give a fuck about her whereabouts. Give a dick once a week, that's a fair amount. My life is a movie, a paramount. I'm not talking about burgers, I'm in and out. I made renovations, the bank accounts, and I'm fucking the game. I'm not pulling the. Hey, look, a nigga, a nigga, we in the. I'm just, we talking, we talking right now. A nigga in the chat just said, because of this shit, he was able to get his dream car. We in the chat right now. Jalen. 
Jalen. I was just with him the other day. At the age of 21, mm-hmm. he got a Hellcat. Damn. Hellcats cost like what? He got a 2019 Hellcat. Supercharged. We talk. I'm talking about this. This is this is messages that I get at least twice, at least twice a week, or twice or two every two weeks, or twice a month. Somebody in this bitch saying, "What's up, family? I want to say X, Y, and Z. I want to say thank you to the IML family because y'all te- y'all taught me the way, and now I'm able to get my dream car." This shit ain't fake. And this is a nigga that go to UAB with me, and I've seen his car now is nice. And I've seen him. Like, he's been telling me for the past few weeks, hey, I'm getting this car by December. I'm getting this car by December. Not today. He got the car. He paid the car off way before December. We was just talking about this when we was in Atlanta two weeks ago. Crazy. And you know what's crazy? His biggest day is only $500. Stacking Nigga, you make niggas it. like that, yo, when, you get, when I get messages like that, yo, that hunger still starts to build, man. I sit there like, yo, I'm inspired, yo. Like, I, and, 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 and some key that you just said right now, personal development. Within, the, within like after March, and I started studying it, and then really started studying IMO, and really started studying the messages, not even focusing on trade, how people react, your reactions, mm-hmm. everything like that. I'm like, my nigga, I'm about to start working on my personal development. Reassess the way I react. Understand what life is throwing at you. Grind. I already got the grind. I already got the hard work. You can put all. You can put as much as hard work as you want, but if you don't grow, if you don't try to work on yourself, try to understand that, man, my nigga, you mean you may need a break just for your health alone. You may need a mental break away for your health alone. Right, how can you impact someone if you have an impact to yourself? Right. I, I'm reading this book called uh, Developing the Leader Within You. So, I'm definitely trying to develop. I've always told myself I need to be a better leader. I need to become a better ins- inspirer. Or just be better, a better version of me. So, one of the books I'm reading is Developing the Leader Within You. The next read is Developing the Leaders Around You. It's a series. So, learn how to develop yourself. Then, you can develop people around you. When you can develop people around you, they'll love you and stick with you forever. You want to have that energy to where people come in the room, when they come around you, they stay around you. If you have bad energy, your your spirit won't allow their demons to be comfortable. You ever notice that? You have a repellent already. Some people just get real irritated. They, they demons get real irritated when you, they come around somebody with such a good spirit. Just keep moving pure, you'll never have to worry about the fuck shit. So. That's just what I do. 